Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, today's video is completely different than most of my daily vlog updates and I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I get which, well a couple things, which is how much money do you make on YouTube and how do you make money on YouTube or social media in general? I've been doing this full time for years now and I've, I've had a lot of people help me along the way in addition to the research and the trends that uh, I do myself on YouTube or the internet to get information. So a couple things I want to share on this video is how much money I make on my YouTube channel that you're watching. You guys can see I'm going to show you the back end of my YouTube and then I'm going to show you or give you like the requirements to monetize your YouTube channel for anybody who wants to monetize their own YouTube channel. And then I'm going to share with you other ways that you can kind of leverage social media to make money. Uh, including the ways that I do. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of information on this video that is basically how do I make money hunting? How do I make money making videos? And if you're interested in that kind of aspect of what I do, um, enjoy the video. But if you guys are, are not interested in that, you don't wanna watch that, you're just here for the daily vlogs, you might just wanna skip this video. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna show you the back end of YouTube Studio which is uh, what you have is a channel dashboard right here. So as you can see on your channel dashboard, you get a lot of stats and analytics right up front. You get to see how your videos are doing, um, how many views and comments they're getting, etc. But the first thing you see right in the dead center of the screen is the revenue. So the first thing that this shares with you on, on your channel dashboard is the statistics or analytics for the last 28 days. So I've been recently uploading a lot more often. I've kind of had a big spike in views and subscribers over just the, like the last handful of videos I've put up, which has resulted into um, an uptick in basically everything, views, subscribers, and revenue. Um, so you can see right here on my channel analytics summary, this channel in the last 28 days has made $500.15. So nothing crazy, right? Like it's, it takes a lot of views for anybody to make a healthy income on YouTube AdSense. And how it works is there are requirements to become a YouTube partner. But when I first started this years ago, I had no clue that you can make money on YouTube and maybe there wasn't even an option when I started because this channel started back in 2006. So the requirements now for those who are interested to monetize your channel and become a Google partner is you need to have 1,000 subscribers on your channel. Your videos have, have to have generated 4,000 watch time hours over the last 12 months. And you need to comply with all YouTube policies and guidelines and you have to set up an AdSense account. So your AdSense account and your YouTube channel are different things, but when you connect the AdSense to YouTube, it knows exactly where to send the money, who to pay, etc. So in your AdSense, what you do is you go through, for example, I signed up, I'm Eric Chesser, here's my address, here's my bank account, here's my tax ID number, whatever it is, you enter that, bank routing information, all that, and it connects to your YouTube channel. So now, every month, I get an automatic deposit into my checking account. And to be honest with you guys, I think the highest I ever had was somewhere in the 700s, and on average, it's literally like two to $300, just because I don't, um, upload enough but uh, if you want to go to Google or go to the channel analytics you can just click this little tab right here in the center and this gives you an overview on everything real time you can do up to this month you can do lifetime of the channel again um, the last 28 days this channel's earned five hundred dollars so you you just don't make a lot of money on AdSense alone. Uh, so let me just give you an idea of like how this all works. They basically break it down to CPM, cost per million. They pay you per thousand dollars, and honestly, it's anywhere from like two to two to five dollars maybe on every thousand views. So you can only imagine you need so many thousands of views to get a lot of money. But some people who are on YouTube that get millions of views of video, these guys are making a ton of money on AdSense alone. So it used to be, it would set you up with a commercial right at the first part of your YouTube video. 
Now you can do commercials within. So everything you guys see on anybody's YouTube channel, like skippable ads or ads, the content creator is making a little bit of that AdSense money, and that is what goes to your, your Google AdSense and your estimated earnings. So that's just one way you can make money on YouTube is directly from ad revenue. Um, another thing that can become valuable as you build a channel or any platform is discount code. So to be completely transparent with you guys, if I mention like, hey, use code Eric, you save 10%, I'm getting what's called a revenue share. I'm getting a percentage of sales made with my discount code. Now, those are my personal favorite for a few reasons. One. I get to pass on savings to the viewers, you guys. So if I have a code Eric, say, on RackUp, and you guys get 17% off, I feel like I'm bringing value to you, and I'm honestly taking a much smaller cut than that um, as percentage. So RackUp is a company, get sales, they're happy. You guys save money on your order, you're happy, and in doing so, you support me, and I make a little extra money. So is it a life-changing amount? No, but every revenue income adds up and that's how I make a living. So for example, the two discount codes I have that are Eric are Rack Hub, which are um, new systems to mount your shed antlers. I did a whole video on them here in the garage. So if you guys use any of their products or you go to their website and when you check out, you enter the discount code Eric, you're going to get 17% off. I'm going to get a small kickback. So huge thanks to anyone who uses that. The other active one I have is for um, dead on display. So dead on display, you guys go to their website, shop, and then at checkout, enter code Eric, you're able to save 10%. And again, I get a small revenue share back, kick back my way. So I love discount codes because it's trackable. Um, it allows you to like kind of prove your value and all that and then you give value back to everyone involved so it's the best for everyone the company only pays out what is earned so it's good for them because it's a low risk they're not saying hey Eric I'll pay you you know five hundred dollars to do a post on your social media and then I do the post and it doesn't generate 500 bucks so that would be a complete loss um, another thing you can do is just what's called like a, a dedicated post so if someone wanted to come to me and say, hey, Eric, if you, know, if you post this pair of gloves, I'll pay you $500. Just You need to have certain deliverables, like a call to action, like click on our website, go to our Instagram, et cetera. Um, I don't do a lot of those. Like I said, the only two active codes I have is Eric, is Dead on Display, and Rack Hub. And then I also do the same for Hush. So if you guys follow the Hush channel, we have a ton of discount codes. And again, the main purpose of our discount codes or the reasons why we love them so much is we're, uh, we're able to pass on a discount and savings to you guys. We feel like we're bringing value to you guys. So if you wanna try or buy some of the products that we use and promote, you're able to get them at a discounted rate. Again, it's trackable to prove the value to the companies we're partnered with and again, most oftentimes we're getting a small kickback. So that's how the discount codes work. If you guys ever see anybody you follow share a discount code, most likely that person is um, making some income that way. And when you make content, when someone is making Instagram, TikTok, YouTube videos, literally most of the time you're not monetizing the content whatsoever except on YouTube. But you guys can see for myself, even the effort I put on this, I'm making 500 bucks a month. That's obviously not enough for anybody to live on. So one way you can support, whether it's myself or anybody you guys follow on social media, is to use their discount codes. So I can tell you right now, they're gonna appreciate it. It's gonna just, that money adds up. And every time anyone has a discount code, if you guys are shopping that brand, you know, show some love to whoever you're following and, and share the love. If you want to use my code one day and then shed crazy the other day or whatever, it doesn't matter. But anytime you use a code, you do uh, help out a content creator. So on the other side of things, we're able to leverage social media for businesses like Outfitted, my clothing brand that is an athletic lineup of clothing. Um, if you if you purchase stuff on Outfitted, it, it does help me. I have taken zero dollars from Outfitted. So it's not making a ton of money, it's not super profitable, but we're just trying to grow it from the ground level up. And hopefully one day 
we would be able to draw salary or distributions from that and that would be great so um, and then dog shoes like for example I'm, I'm leveraging my platform to ask people hey would you guys be interested in a dog shoe and personally I'm gonna take all the money I ever made from dog shoes and I'm gonna invest it in my parents house because they're gonna do a remodel and it's gonna cost somewhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars so as I'm just trying to do my part and help and one thing I knew I could do is sell antlers and by cutting them up into dog shoes I can make more out of that so I can I can use my platforms to ask people hey would you be interested in this and it gives me a platform to advertise something so obviously you know as a content creator I don't want to like oversaturate my platform with ads or selling anything but you guys would be probably extremely surprised to how many DMs you get. I mean, I can show just using my vacuum and it's like 10 DMs of like, hey, I want to go buy that vacuum, where'd you get it? Or the lighting in my cabinets, like in my kitchen. It, it's crazy. The response is insane about no matter what it is that I show or share. And sometimes I'm partnered with that product and sometimes I'm not and I'll still answer those DMs. So there's a lot of ways to leverage social media to, I don't know, I guess like make a living. And that's exactly what I do. Um, and then on top of the things I just shared, of course, the Hush in store, which by the way, uh, today's the last day to get up to 20% on the Hush store on merchandise like this. We sell merchandise, hats, hoodies, arrow veins and wraps, pyro putty, and all sorts of things that people seem to really like and they can go there and shop and that direct, directly helps me as well. So guys, that's a lot of information, but I really wanted to share how I make a living doing this. Everyone's like, how do you get paid to go hunt? And like, yeah, I guess it, in a way you do. No one, no one writes me a check to go hunting. I don't just get, I don't go on a hunt and then get money. It's by creating a lot of content hunting, I then can build um, a following or whatever and a brand. And that way you can sell an item or maybe partner with a company to promote their product. But overall, like honestly, like I absolutely love what I do for work and I'm proud of how I create an income because I feel like I'm selling items that people enjoy. Like I'm not here, this isn't a call center. This isn't sign up now and 30 day cancel for free. I don't feel like I'm scamming anyone. I'm selling items that people seem to enjoy and love and I'm making an honest living by doing so. Uh, so I'm proud of what I do for work. The different revenue streams all add up to help, you know, to help my, my annual income, a little bit of everything. And I'm trying to diversify that as I grow. You know, I've got dog shoes now. It's like, okay, do I, do I actually make a dog shoe company? Can I do that? Do I have the time outfitted? Like, do I want to make, uh, fitness apparel which we are like how much of that can I use my time there I got hush so there's a lot of different little tiny buckets of income coming in um, to add up to enough to to live a good life and I am super thankful for that opportunity and for all the support we get across the board I mean every little thing helps even from just simply subscribing you don't have to buy anything to actually support uh, my work. There's other things that I haven't explored like affiliate links. Like if I wanted I can be become an Amazon partner. I can put all the products that I use like camera gear, heck any vacuum or anything and I can kind of have an Amazon landing page where if someone were to click there and shop through Amazon uh, and, and they can track the clicks from Amazon from my YouTube to the Amazon, capture a sale and then I would get a kickback. So there's affiliate links uh, which again, I don't have any active affiliate links, um, the discount codes, the AdSense from Google and YouTube, there's website sales, uh, partnerships, ah, a whole bunch of different things. Well, anyways, guys, I could probably go into way deeper details on the analytical side of the back end of YouTube, but for now, you guys get the gist of it. Thanks for watching my video. Maybe I'll make some money on this video. Probably 30 bucks, 20 bucks. But anyways, I wanted for the most part just to hop on here and explain some of that because it's it's probably the, one of the most common commonly asked questions is like, Eric, man, I wanna do what you do. Like I wanna make money hunting. How do I do that? And it's 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 complex, you know, like there's just a lot of moving parts to it, but it's not one big revenue bucket. All right. Okay, the camera died on me. I think I was filming too long. But anyways, if you guys want to support the channel, support me, my partners, anybody, 
I'll list everything I just told you guys in the description box. So go check those out. Um, again, hopefully you guys can save any. And another thing, no pressure. If you guys don't wanna use the discount code, don't worry about it. If you don't wanna, you know, support my brands, like, don't worry about it. Just by watching this, just by subscribing or a simple follow on Instagram, uh, it means a lot and it also helps. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, leave a comment in the comment box. What's the next video? I'm gonna get back to cutting up dog cheese. So here we go. Oh, by the way, please subscribe to the channel. See ya.